five levels of leadership. This is something that I've been working on for quite some time now, uh, but it's inspired by John Maxwell. If you would mind clicking, please. And um, I don't like the idea of summer internship, so today I'm going to hopefully broaden you guys' perspective a little bit on uh, what I think would be considered a five summer program um, rather than just a one and done deal. Next, please. Cool. Uh, so, what is your first summer about? Well, you guys have done it. You guys can probably relate. You get to learn how to sell. It's a service mindset. Okay. You also learn how to connect with people. Swall. What does that mean? Shut up and listen. All right. So we teach guys how to listen uh, and girls. So first summer, it's also your first exposure to constant rejection. You get to build a habit of no means next. Uh, you also learn how to commit to something. You get to learn how to finish what you start. You learn how to run your own business. Profit is equal to income minus expenses. It's taken me two summers to figure that out. I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> uh, you also average 85 hours a week. You know, you get to learn how to have fun with the time that you're doing. So here are some pictures we get to help families. Cool. Uh, these are my roommates. That was uh, Philip Reese, David Schwartzberg, Jackson Thomas. And these are my roommates this summer. I don't know who Ryan is. I know that. Gabriel yeah, and uh, Michael. Yeah. So I'm not wearing any shoes. <laughs> right. Anyways, hey, what is your second summer about, guys? Well, it's your first time recruiting. You also get to share the advantage. Okay. You give. It's your first time going to GRS. It's in Nashville, Tennessee. It's your first time going to GRS too. All of you should be invited to go to GRS too. You just have to earn it. Uh, that's in New Orleans last year. This year it's going to be in Chicago. You get to learn how to lead by example. It's not about you anymore, okay? You guys, you know, be managers, leaders, it's not about you anymore. It's not your first summer. It's about helping someone else go through their first summer, okay? Uh, country calls, you get to learn how to connect stats and uh, collect stats and bring people back to normalcy. You'll get to have the opportunity to run your own HQ, you know, all the fun stuff that you, know, you have to listen to your manager. You get to be that manager and you get to get other kids excited about running around the house and collecting $5 out of the shower if they beat you, okay? Um, it's your second time running your own business, and instead of learning basic stuff at sales school, you're going to be getting exclusive advanced sales training at sales school. Cool. So here's my personal uh, example. I delivered 1,000, uh, 50, 67 units uh, my first summer, and then uh, wrote up 2,100, delivered 1,900 units my second summer. It's almost a 90% growth. Okay. So when you hear in advanced sales that it gets better because you get better, um, I plan on increasing more than that again this summer. And so it doesn't matter, you know, where you started. We're all here for personal growth. Thanks. That's yeah. It's the why. same shirt, but it's not the same picture. Wow. And I'm gonna wear the same shirt next year. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> yes, for ten summers. <laughs> we get to share the advantage. And if you didn't make Sizzler this year, you just hit it next year. That's all that matters. Okay. Um, Sizzler, I don't have time to talk about this. Next, please. <laughs> that was this is it, right? That's all I have to say. Hey, third summer, you get to learn how to lead an organization. Okay, Maddie Greger did it. Olivia's going to do it. A bunch of people are going to do it. Okay, you get to recruit a team of five to ten people. You have the option to take the spring semester off. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm taking the spring semester off, and I'm going to be full time in the spring. Uh, production level. This is you got to be the high producer in your group. You know, you got to lead by example. You also have to produce by example. You learn how to outsource tasks. You know, Olivia's great at this. Dragon's great at this. You know, it's not all about you doing everything. It's about giving other people an opportunity to be a leader. Okay. Um, you get to plan and organize weekly sales meetings. Um, Jake and Dragon and Jared have so much experience at that. I'm super duper, you know, excited to be learning how to do that. You get to learn how to motivate, train, and inspire people. Um, it's your third time running your own business. You get OL training at sales school. Not just manager stuff. Not just advanced stuff. There's exclusive OL training at sales school. Um, and then it's your second time increasing personal sales, hopefully hitting double growth, you know. And if you really think about, you know, we, we sell traveling, we talk about traveling, but like, if you sell for multiple summers, you're gonna be going to at least three different states outside of the one that you grew up in. That's what I call travel. Nice. Um, cool, hey, for the summer, you get to recruit a top team. Now it's not your first time recruiting, now you learn how to recruit a top team, okay? Um, helping solidify dealers for another summer, building a campus vision, uh, monthly newsletter. I watched Amy do this every single month. She had a, an update on what um, what each first year, what, what how recruiting was going, what we were doing on campus. She was amazing at sending out 
uh, emails to parents of everybody. Um, campus socials, Amy again is great at doing that. Bowling, you know, mini golf. Um, sales talk meetings, Monday at 7 a.m., right? Uh, let's see, training Ds and Cs. Uh, running send-off meeting, production party. Again, Amy has been hosting it since, since I've known Southwestern. Um, fourth time running your own business. Third time increasing personal sales. Hey, great recruiters get away. Amy has been on this twice now. I remember in December, you know, she was asking, I was like, hey, so Amy, um, where was it that you had traveled? Was, she was like, the Azores. So I was like, the what? The Azores, where is that? Nobody knows that she went there, <laughs> you know? Um, Dan Moore's wife lives on those islands, to my knowledge, and uh, it's kind of like Sizzler, if you haven't been on Sizzler, but it's like Sizzler on steroids, okay? Um, all you can, everything. Hey, fifth summer, it's your, your potential career option at this point, okay? You're thinking about, hey, like, is this something that I could do, not just a mini career, but something maybe that Mike Gallagher did, maybe something that, you know, um, uh, you know, people that you guys may have met, you know, Bergie Sanford, um, you know, Mark Rao, Dan Moore, you know, when they would ask, like, would you like to come back for another summer, they were like, how many more summers are there, right? It's that kind of mentality. Uh, campus vision turns into campus culture, you know? Think about campus culture this week. What does that mean to you? Um, each summer is just cha is just as challenging as the day before. I heard that, you know, from Amy and Tro Samuels every single Sunday my first summer. Is, is every single summer is, is just as challenging. It's your fourth time recruiting, fifth time building your own business, fourth time increasing personal sales. You have the option to uh, increase your production to be a PC club member at 600 units in a week. Chairman's is 800 in a week. Um, Mort is 1,000 in a week. And then CEO Society is delivering, excuse me, selling 1,500. Uh, 1,500 units uh, twice during the summer. Uh, you get to be on the wall of greats, making you run for DSM or DSL. So this looks like an average college girl from UF, right? And Amy Piozzi, having fun with families, doing pretty decently. Her, you know, her, that's like her third or fourth summer, you know, $21,000 check. OK, look at where she ended up now. OK, um, she's promoted to district sales leader going on her seventh summer in six years, okay, and is, is now on the wall of greats, okay? That's a pretty substantial achievement for someone that's 22, 23, 24 years old. Thank you, guys. Woo! Ow, ow! Okay, we still have two minutes if anyone has questions. Yeah, that's like nice. So wait, what was the title? Five? Five levels of leadership. So five summers, five levels. Um, so the first time you just learn sales, second time you learn how to lead, third time you just learn how to be selfless. First time you lead yourself. So. Well, yeah, well, but I don't really consider that leadership. Right. That's more like discipline. It's <laughs> not discipline, it's really what that is. So what is the definition of leadership? The definition of leadership is uh, influence. Nothing more, nothing less. Leadership is influence. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else have any questions for Alex? John Maxwell book. I like the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, um, but there's a lot of them. There's, he has, I mean, there could be a book written on how many books he's written. <laughs> um, so I haven't read all of them, so I don't have a favorite. So I haven't read all of them. But that one? That one I, I go back to. It's like something I can meditate on. Cool. Thank you, Alex. Woohoo! Thank you guys for your time. All right. Now, Dragon's going to do just a really short part.